Adventures. Hey guys, Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, a lot of exciting news, especially yesterday with the announcement of the SIG P320 X10 Comp. It's a compact size 10 millimeter with a 3.8 inch bull barrel and it's got that ported slide that helps with recoil. They call it the single port slide integrated expansion chamber. The price is about what I expected. They said $1,049 MSRP, but you can get them for $949. So pretty expensive, just like the original X10 started off around the $900 range. So I, I don't think it's necessary to price it that high. But just days before, they announced this new Macro Legion. So the P365 AGX Legion, it's basically an enhanced X Macro in the Legion line. It's got the dull gray finish and all the enhancements. Just looks like a beautiful little X Macro, 1200 bucks, just under 1200 bucks. And I'm dumb enough to uh, go ahead and tell Juan at EDC Alaska, yeah, go ahead and save me one. But then when they announced the, the new P320 X10 comp, I said, no, switch it to that one. It's kind of funny they're calling it the comp too. It reminds me of the Smith & Wesson 586L comp. I just feel like they're copying that. It's cool to say. But even a few weeks before that, they announced the P226 X5 Legion, and this is what I really wanted. It, it's an enhanced P226 Legion, but it's got this comp slide and all the new enhancements. I had a P229 Legion RX six years ago, and, and that was the new Legion, and I paid 1300 bucks for that, and I thought it was worth it. It was amazing. The optic plates were a little newer to pistols back then, and it had that feature. It was a Legion. I, I really liked the Legion series. So when they announced this X5 Legion in the P226 Hammer Fire, family I was like sign me up I'll pay 13 1400 bucks for that just under 2200 bucks you got to be kidding me I completely changed my mind there's no way I'm paying that much if I'm gonna pay that much for a pistol I'm gonna get a mark 23 hands down I'm already into the HK's and, and that's a pistol that's worth that. We'll talk about the hammer fired. But I do kind of see a trend of the hammer fired pistol coming back and I think SIG knows they can charge that much because the old school guys know that a hammer fired pistol is better than a striker fired. Big surprise. I know I'm a Glock fanboy but if you watch my videos you'll see that I like HK better than Glock. It's a superior firearm. I've had many Glocks uh, fail and malfunction on me. I've owned many HKs and I haven't had a single malfunction in one of my HKs. This is the regular full-size USP 45. Uh, I've got another HK 45 Compact Tactical I'm picking up tomorrow. I'll be doing videos on that. I'm just a big fan of HK and the reason why these hammer fire guns are better than the striker fire, there's a, there's a few reasons. I feel you got more power with the actual weight of that hammer coming down whereas the striker is just that little spring-loaded pin. So not only do you have more power on some of these guns that are double action, single action, like this USP, you can take a second shot on a light primer strike. First of all, you're gonna get less light primer strikes with a hammer-fired pistol, but if you do get one, you could just pull the trigger again and you might have a chance of it actually firing. You cannot do that on a striker fire. You'd have to pull the slide back again and everything. So superior system. I Not as much of a 1911. Maybe some of the staccatos I like, but I'm not too much of a 1911 guy. Some of the high-end ones, yeah, I'd carry those, but your run-of-the-mill $600 1911, I'm, I'm not really a fan. I think it's outdated. These Hammer-fired pistols, though, from HK, uh, you know, even some of the Cold War era ones are just rock solid. They're tanks. You just can't beat them. I even like this better than a Glock. This is a, a SIG P229, a classic one from the 90s. This is their sport model made in West Germany, all stainless steel frame, and uh, the trigger is just amazing, and it is hammer-fired. So with 
when the CSX came out a couple years ago, I was kind of excited. I'm hoping they do more things like this, but now that they're coming out with this new P226 Lee X5 Legion that is hammer fired, it's a brand new offering. I'm hoping this trend continues, but the price point is, is just a little bit ridiculous. I'll buy an HK all day before I pay $2,200 for a SIG Legion. And I love Legions. Uh, you know, 1300, 1200 is about the point I'll stop. And, and for a lot of people, that's way too much. You could get more than two pistols for that price. It's ridiculous. So uh, I don't think it's necessary for all these prices to go up on these MSRPs. We're already experiencing too much inflation right now. It is kind of exciting to see some of these new releases and I will be getting the, the new X10 comp. But let me know what you guys think about these new releases and the prices uh, that SIG is putting on these pistols, outrageous prices, and what you think about hammer fired versus striker fire. So thank you guys. I'll have a full review of my FN 510 MRD tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for that. Keep watching. Please become a patron if you can. Buy a Chook hoodie if you can. I got links down below. And it's Chook, your friend in the field. My name is Chook. I like to train my guns just for fun. But now I have none. Why don't you almost die every time? Guaranteed!